Hello everyone. In this INR number 26, we are going to discuss about vitamin C, another important PYQ. So what is another name of vitamin C? It is also known as ascorbic acid, right? What are the sources? Sources are the fresh fruits, citrus fruit like a lemon and fresh vegetables, right? Maximum level of vitamin C is present in our adrenal cortex, right? Vitamin C cannot be synthesized in our human body. Remember, why it cannot be synthesized? Why vitamin C cannot be synthesized in our human body? Because of lack of which enzyme? So that enzyme is called as L-gulonolactone oxidase. So because of deficiency of L-gulonolactone oxidase, vitamin C cannot be synthesized in a human body. Right? What are the functions of vitamin C? We all know very well that they are one of the very important antioxidants. Antioxidant means they will be removing the free radicals. They will also help in collagen synthesis. How? By doing the hydroxylation of the proline and lysine. So after doing this hydroxylation of proline and lysine, they will be helping in collagen synthesis. And this collagen synthesis is going to increase the wound strength during the wound healing. Right? In, it will also increase iron absorption, which was the question in our exam, right? So many times it has been asked in all the exam, it will increase the iron absorption. So they are antioxidant, they are helping in collagen synthesis, which helps in the wound healing. They will increase the iron absorption and they are also used as an ancillary treatment. <coughs> ancillary treatment for methemoglobinemia. So in methemoglobinemia, how it will be helping in treatment? They will convert the ferric form into the ferrous form, right? They are also considered as a cofactor for dopamine beta hydroxylase, which will be converting dopamine to norepinephrine, right? When we are treating the neurolathyrism, that time it will be also used as a prophylaxis, right? So remember, this is used as a prophylaxis. Vitamin C is a prophylactic against the neurolathyrism. Vitamin C is also called as respiratory catalyst because this will be helping in cellular respiration. How it will be helping in cellular respiration? By giving the hydrogen. So they are like a hydrogen transporter, right? What is the deficiency? This is important, which came in exams, right? Scurvy, deficiency of vitamin C or ascorbic acid will be causing scurvy. What is scurvy? What are the findings? Swollen gum and easy bruising petechi you will see. So these are the swollen gum. You can see what I'm showing you. This is the scurvy. Red and swollen gums are there which can easily bleed, right? Even trivial trauma will start bleeding. So that is why swollen gum, easy bruising, petechi will be present, hemarthrosis will be present, bleeding into the joint will be present. Hemarthrosis means bleeding into the joint because of vitamin C deficiency. We will see anemia, iron deficiency anemia because vitamin C will increase the iron absorption. So iron deficiency anemia will be there. Vitamin C is required for the, vitamin C is required for the Collagen synthesis, that is why if there is a deficiency, collagen will be decreased and that is why wound healing will be also poor. They will be having perifollicular around the hair follicles and into the subperiosteum area, you will be seeing the hemorrhages and when you will see their hair appearance, you can see hair appearance is like a screw, a cork screw, we will describe them as a cork screw hair. So you can see cork screw hair and petechial hemorrhages also seen at some places. Earliest finding will be this one. What is this finding we are seeing here? These are bluish red spots around the hair follicles, right? So this is the perifollicular hemorrhages. And this is the first sign of this curvy, right? So perifollicular hemorrhages, gum bleeding, swelling, petechi purpura, and cork screw like hairs are features of the deficiency of